Shalom. First and foremost, let me give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Kakudash. The true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Alright, given to us by the Holy Spirit, man. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. You know, uh, peace, love, and blessing to the hopefully elect that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and truth and in sincerity, you know, uh, reproving, rebuking, and exhorting, admonishing, and, and, and uplifting with all, you know, long suffering and doctrine. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is Psalms 105. I'm driving right now, so I'm going to try and read it as best as I can, you know, without uh, causing any harm on the road here. But it says, uh, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. You know, and that's what we do. You know, we go out on the highways and the hedges of the Lord. All right, he gave us, all right, this understanding, man. All right, which I was thinking about it. You know, there's a scripture that talks about how the Lord gave us the earnest of the spirit. And then when you go in to uh, the word there, you know, um, The word is, uh, it means down payment. You know, so the Lord opens your eyes up to the truth. You know, you get, the, you, you uh, receive the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. You know, your eyes are open. You see who the men of the Lord are. All right, you see, you get the, under, receive the understanding of the, the Bible. You know, you uh, get woken up, man. You, you get that that overwhelming uh, spirit of knowing that this is the truth, you know, and the Lord called you, and that's your down payment, you know, so the Lord gave us the, uh, the, some money, basically, man, you know, he's making the down payment till he comes back to redeem the purchase, all right, which is you. You know, and with that money, we're supposed to uh, make known, you know, or, or change the money, you know, flip the money, uh, you know, basically go out there on the highways and hedges and spend our money wisely, invest our money, all right, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> so we make known his deeds among the people, you know, which is our job, our responsibility, our responsibility to do that, you know, and it's in our best interest to do that. If you have the understanding or, you know, whatever it is uh, that you do, because not everybody, <coughs> not everybody has that office. No, but if you have the ability, then yeah. But but you you still you do what you know you you can do. All right, you know it's all through the spirit. You know, it's all through the spirit, man. It says, uh, "Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works." And you read the scriptures, you know, and. You understand the wondrous works that the Lord is able to deliver, you know, out of all trouble. The Lord is able to make miracles happen. The Lord is able to make uh, friends out of your enemies. The Lord is able to, as it says in the scriptures, stop the mouths of a hungry lion, man. You know, the Lord is able to... Uh, 
call the animals to your service. The Lord is able to do many things. You know, you had, uh, uh, what was it, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, which Daniel and his companions cast into a great furnace of fire. And uh, it said the fire didn't touch them. You know, there's all kinds of miracles and amazing things. The Lord has the power to deliver, man. He guides our steps. All right. If you believe, if you have faith, you know, there's that scripture where Yahweh Shai was walking on water and then I believe it was, uh Peter went out to go meet him and then the, uh, the wind got boisterous and he fell into the water, you know, the Lord had to catch him. And he said, why did you doubt? You know, so you know, your faith, your belief is going to be powerful. It's going to give you power. <coughs> you know, because the Lord is not going to help you if you don't believe, man. It says without faith, you can't please him. So you have to believe that he's with you, that he gave you this word that he called you. Because he don't just give this word to anybody, to just anybody, man. There's a lot of people misusing it, you know, and, and not, you know, wielding the scriptures the correct way. So it says, glory ye in his holy name. Yeah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Al-Kakwadash. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord, right? Because that's going to be your salvation. It says the Lord is a strong tower, you know, and the righteous runneth into it and are safe. You know, the righteous man falleth seven times, but he gets back up again. And it says in the scriptures, the Lord, you know, he is righteous to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all our, our trespasses, man. You know, so don't get held up on mistakes that you made. You know, focus on, you know, doing the right thing. Focus on, you know, the things that the Lord has done for you, the mercy that the Lord has bestowed upon you. Focus on those type of things. Don't focus on negative things. Because then you're just going to, you know, get swallowed up by, by demons. You're just going to multiply demons upon yourself by just dwelling on negative stuff. You know, thank the Lord and, and you know, really search your heart for the things, you know, that the Lord has done for you and continues to do for you. Uh, the fact that you have the word, if you if you actually believe, you truly believe, then, you know, the water you by Shemi, I was shy for that, man. You know, the Lord is with you. It says, seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face evermore. You know, so having the Lord, you know, this is the focus. The focus is on Yahweh by Shemi, I was shy, man. That's what we're created to do, is to focus on Yahweh by Shemi, I was shy. That's what it means to worship the Lord. It means all your focus and attention is on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Das. You know, and the Lord is going to come and deliver the elect, man. You know, and you're hoping to be a part of that by faith. <coughs> because everything that the scriptures say, and everything that the men of the Lord have been saying, the apostles, the elders on down have been saying, coming, you know, been coming true. You know, it's more and more things happening you know i'll do a lesson you know when i after this sometime about uh, this article that's going into how france is on the uh verge of a, a civil war basically man you know holy shit what the fuck is this guy doing these people are fucking crazy out here with the way they drive it says remember his marvelous works that he had done his wondrous his wonders and the judgments of his mouth and you know remember the good things the, the, the amazing thing hey man you gotta think too the Lord uh, will destroy you know the Lord's gonna destroy these kingdoms to get to you know save the elect man the Lord's gonna come and destroy Esau and these nations you know, to save the elect, man. That's his judgment. You know, the Lord's coming to judge the nations. The Lord's coming to judge everybody that wants to fight against the word of Yahweh by Shemiah man. You know, 
in one way or another. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. You know, because that's you got to be an Israelite. You know, and if you, and it's all through the Spirit, man, because it, you know, how how did how did this whole thing come to come to be about? Was all through the Spirit, man. Was through under you know the the Holy Spirit coming upon men to receive the gospel, to receive the Holy Spirit, to receive the understanding, you know. And, and it extends beyond so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans by color, you know. It also extends to scattered Israelites. You know, that the Lord is going to call through this word. The Lord is going to put the spirit upon them. The Lord is going to call whoever he wants, man. There's going to be Israelites that come out looking like other nations, man. You're going to be like, oh, man, that's a jake. You know, and it's going to come through the spirit. All right? Because the spirit is uh, otherworldly. It, it is, it, you know, it comes from the Lord, man. Understanding, you know, you read the scriptures, you know that understanding comes from the Lord, man. The Holy Spirit, it comes from the Lord, man. It, 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 faith is a gift. So if the Lord puts it in the spirit of somebody that looks like another nation, that they're an Israelite, man. The spirit of faith, the spirit of truth, you know, whom the world cannot receive. That's a jake, man. It's a jake. All right, says so he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Hey, yeah, man, the Lord controls everything, man. You know, that's why, you know, you want to put your trust in the Lord. You know, and then think about when uh, you had Abraham, you know, wandering about in a strange land where, you know, he put, had to put his trust in the Lord because anybody could just rob you, kill you, you know, do whatever to you. You know, he'd come into a country and, you know, like grab up his wife because he said, say that you're my sister because surely the fear of the Lord is not in this place. They grab up his wife and then what did the Lord do? The Lord actually came down and was like, look, you don't give this man back his woman. I'm going to fuck you up, man. So, you know, the Lord, the Lord takes care of his men. All right. The Lord takes care. The Lord's going to take care of his chosen, man. <coughs> Just got to believe Abraham. Hey, man, Abraham believed the Lord and it was counted to him uh, for righteousness. Believe the Lord, man. You know, the true power, of course. Yeah, I'll buy some of side, man. You know. It says, uh, he had remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan uh, the lot of your inheritance when they were but a few men in number yeah very few and strangers in it when they went from one nation to another from one kingdom to another people he suffered no man to do them wrong yeah he reproved kings for their sakes saying touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm all right. So that's how that's what the Lord said, man. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It says in the scriptures he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets. So all these things, man, they're meant to build your faith. They're meant to give you faith for you to trust in the Lord, to believe the Lord is with you. So anybody that comes against you, man, said he reproved kings. So anybody that comes against the men of the Lord, all right, they're going to get jacked up. All right. 
The Lord is not going to suffer you to be overtaken or overthrown, man. And <coughs> at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is going to be with you. So we got to believe in that. We got to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh man. Hopefully this is edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh Double honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and shallow arms of hopefully elect, man.